836 right now, and although the majority of businesses are closed, there are very few people out on the streets. Crime is actually up in New York City. So this morning, we're addressing that, plus getting an update from NYPD Chief of Patrol this morning, Fausto Pichardo. So good morning to you, Chief. Thank you so much for joining the Pix 11 Morning News this morning. I want to get right into the most recent report released by the NYPD that shows that crime is actually up compared to this time last year in areas like robberies, right? So how do you correlate these numbers when you see less people out on the streets? What's happening outside? Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, listen, it, the, these are extraordinary times in this city. And, and there is an uptick in crime, about 5% citywide, specifically uh, our, our murder rate is up slightly, our, our shootings are up slightly, and like you said, uh, our, our robberies and burglaries uh, are up. And unfortunately, uh, sometimes uh, when events like this transpire, uh, there are some really bad people out there that continue to prey on those that are innocent, whether it's robbing them by force, uh, and also uh, our businesses. I, I mean, think about all the commercial establishments that are closed right now throughout the city, the livelihood of these victims. And you have some some people in this city who are capitalizing on that in the most outrageous way by victimizing them uh, and, and robbing them of additionally of their livelihood. But our police officers are out there day in and day out uh, making arrests. Uh, we have some of the greatest detectives in the world. And uh, New Yorkers can rest assured that the NYPD is fully prepared to address every aspect of any crimes that come out there. Yeah, I actually saw the NYPD handling a situation yesterday on the streets that involved a knife, and it was in my neighborhood where I was out walking the dog, and I saw this play out right in front of me. So I know you're out there. I want to talk about the social distancing mandates, right? It's, it's, it's something difficult to enforce. So are you enforcing it? Have there been any arrests for people who just aren't listening to social distancing guidelines? You know, New Yorkers are, are really resilient, uh, resilient people, and we know this time and time again. Uh, and, and there is an abundance, an overwhelming amount of cooperation from every New Yorker. And, and the ultimate goal that we have in the New York City Police Department is to garner voluntary compliance. And by and large, throughout the city and every borough, that's what we see. Are there outliers in certain incidents? Uh, we had something up in the Bronx, uh, an unlicensed bottle club serving alcohol, and, and we issued yeah. some summons up there in Canarsie as well in certain parts of Crown Heights. Certainly, you'll have a few incidents, but by and large, uh, resounding throughout this city, uh, it's clear that, that New Yorkers are listening, they're, they're certainly complying, and we we'll continue to ask their, their cooperation as we move forward in this pandemic. I want to look underground right now at the subway system. There's been a lot of focus on NYPD patrolling crime in the subways, taking a look at the homeless that numbers that are on the subways. Uh, the governor has floated the idea of bringing in state police to actually help the NYPD specifically in the subway system. Is that conversation still ongoing? Is that option still on the table here? And what are you doing to keep New Yorkers safe who do need to ride the trains? You know, we're fortunate in this police department that we are well-resourced. Uh, both in, in every bureau, in the patrol bureau, and certainly the transit bureau. And I think our transit police officers do a fantastic job. Uh, it's been well reported that ridership in, in transit has decreased, but I tell you one, one thing that has not diminished or decreased, it is the efforts of every transit police officer in the subway systems. You see them every day on a daily basis. They're making phenomenal arrests. Uh, the, the last couple of days, if you'll see, uh, firearms and guns recovered, pickpockets being arrested. Uh, so, so there is a balance in, in everything that we do, certainly. But uh, again, the, our transit police officers are in the subways. I think they're doing a really good job considering uh, the circumstances of what goes so, on day in and day out in the city. So the, the idea of the state police coming in to help out, is that something on the table or, or no? We're, we're always looking to work with our partners, whether that's at the state, at the federal level. I, I mean, if you look, uh, you know, our, our joint terrorist task force with, with the FBI, uh, any cooperation that we can garner from, from any entity that has the same goals as we do, and that's to protect every New Yorker, we're always willing to work with them. Um, you know, I want to talk about the loss in the department. It's very, it's very important to highlight. We've been putting faces to this every single day here. 31 members, in fact, of the MIPD have lost their battle to coronavirus. 4,600 have, in fact, tested positive, and 2,900, important number here, have recovered and returned to work. You're beginning temperature checks right now, so I want to just think that your take on the, the decline in numbers of reports right now. Do you think we're past the peak within the department as well? 
Certainly appreciate that question. And, and, and as you alluded, I read a great headline today that over 60% of COVID positive members, both uniform and civilian, that tested positive are back at work. And that number every day continues yeah. to increase. Our police officers and our civilians are coming back to work. And, and as you alluded, it, it, it's been a tough, tough road for this police department. We've lost 31 members, uh, six uniformed, 20 civilian members, and five auxiliaries. Uh, and, and day by day, are, they're coming back to work. Uh, we want to make sure and we want to thank every New Yorker for keeping uh, those that have passed away, their loved ones, their co-workers in their prayers, and, and the remaining about 1,800 who are still out on COVID positive, and then we have 40 members uh, in the hospital. So please continue to keep them and their loved ones in their prayers. And, and we really, really appreciate it, all the support that we've received. Yeah. And I, I think it's important to highlight not only the faces that we have lost, but each and every day, you guys are also honoring the frontline workers in the hospitals, the doctors and nurses showing up outside, blaring the siren, showing your support for them as well in this time, continuing that. And we echo that at 7 p.m. every night outside our windows. Chief, we thank you for your time this morning. We thank the department for keeping New York safe and being out there each and every day during this pandemic. And again, thanks for coming in this morning. We really do appreciate it, okay? Thank you for having me. Have a great day.